folks, how's it going? Aloha from Hawaii. So in this video that I'm going to talk about the concept of the holographic universe, I just read an article last night about a uh, recent discovery by Japanese scientists in which uh, they say that they have numerically confirmed that the universe is in fact a hologram. Now the article that I read, which I will uh, put a link down below the video here too if you want to check it out for yourself, is kind of more in the new agey realm of uh, kind of spinning off of this discovery and uh, talking about it in kind of more spiritual terms and um, it goes back over concepts uh, espoused by the ancients in the Bhagavad Gita and Rumi and various uh, um, spiritual figures uh, throughout the past several millennia of how their um, philosophical, spiritual uh, discoveries and ramblings are lining up with where uh, science and physics is uh, coming to at this time. And so there's a real merging of um, science and the mystical, which is definitely a very interesting thing going on. Now, they talk about the concept of the uh, holographic universe, and the basic idea that they're um, making is that the universe as we see it, as we experience it, as we feel it, is not really as it is. So physical reality seems to us to be this uh, hard, permanent, solid, you know, world around us. And this is not really the case. If you look at things at the quantum level, in other words, the teeny tiny little particles that actually make up physical reality, our bodies and the planets and stars and uh, everything uh, in the universe, then they are not solid whatsoever. Uh, you cannot actually pin down really what is the ultimate um, source of matter. If you look at an electron and, and try to pinpoint where an electron is, then you can't find it. A, an electron is not um, a, um, a solid little particle that is rotating around the nucleus within an atom. An electron is more like a um, probability cloud surrounding the nucleus in which it can uh, exist, exist potentially in a virtually infinite, perhaps in infinite number of different places, including possibly on the other side of the galaxy or the universe, but that is way outside of the probability. If probability cloud exists within this little area right around the uh, nucleus, but you can't, it isn't, it isn't like a little lead ball or like a planet rotating around the sun. When you actually try to find the true substance of physical matter, then it remains elusive. It's like what's, what's actually making up uh, this, this universe um, around us? And so the point is that the, um, the universe is an illusion, uh, very much so in you know, s clear scientific terms. Now, what the uh, article doesn't speak to uh, in this realm of the holographic universe, which I think is the most important concept, is that um, yes, the universe is an illusion, but illusory does not mean unreal is the, the first concept to, to understand. Uh, illusion does not mean that there is nothing there. It just means that um, what we see is not necessarily what exists, what, what really exists, or even that there is necessarily any um, objective thing that exists. That which we see is subject to the observer, and uh, its, its true state of being is not something that can really be qualified, quantified, pinned down in any way. And so th there's something there, something exists, but uh, it is not what it appears, it is not what we think it is. And yet, going uh, beyond this concept of the universe is an illusion, then what this really, uh, you know, sums up to me in terms of the, the really important concept to, to get from this is that, think of, think of what a hologram is. A hologram is a projection of light, and it could be, say, a car, and so you're, you're there looking at uh, a car, perhaps it's like really realistic looking, and then you go to grab the door and get into the car and then 
there's just nothing there. It's like a ghost. It's just a, a mirage, essentially. But that doesn't mean that there is actually nothing there. There's something there. There's light that you are perceiving. And so it is real. It's an illusion, but it's also real. Meanwhile, so here's the important point. What is, what is this? What's, there's a hologram here. What's, what's going on here? The hologram does not just exist independently in and of itself. It isn't just hovering there in the air for you know, its own amusement. The hologram is being projected there by something else. And so that is really the important point um, to, uh, to pick up from this concept of a holographic universe, which is that the universe as we see it, as we experience it, is, is not all that there is. It is something that we are immersed within and we are experiencing, but the something that we are experiencing is only the projection being projected out by something else. And that something else is more real. The projector that's projecting the hologram uh, in our world that you would see, that projector is, is much more real than that hologram. You can go pick that thing up and push its buttons and make it do different things. And, and so there is, there is more substance to that machine that is projecting the hologram than the hologram itself, even though the hologram is also real in a sense. So this universe then is, is a massive, giant, very convoluted, complex, multi-layered, interdimensional, you know, whatever hologram. And then meanwhile, there is something else that exists beyond this universe, and that, that, is, that is the more real thing that exists. And so that's kind of the cool thing to uh, take away from this concept of the holographic universe, is, okay, there is something else out there. This universe is not all that exists. And this is really what the spiritual path is, is really about to a great extent, in my understanding and, and uh, opinion, is uh, coming to that understanding, that awareness of something else exists beyond this world and seeking to connect with it, find it, perceive it, experience it, um, make it a, a part of your reality in some way. And how exactly to do that is definitely very you know, elusive and, and up in the air and many different approaches to it. So one other important point that I want to get to here is um, that there tends to be a uh, division within um, the spiritual path versus the non-spiritual path, just life in this world, of the uh, spiritual mystics and, and teachers are saying, there's something else beyond this world. And so search for that, seek that, because this world is all, all an illusion and um, don't pay it any mind because the real reality exists beyond this world. And then the non-spiritual worldly view is, the scientific materialist view as well, is uh, this world is all that exists. And so just you know, live in this world, be in this world, experience what is in this world, and, and anything that you conceive of as being beyond this realm is, is just a fantasy in your head. And I think that ultimately the, the real uh, solution is to merge these two concepts and recognize that, yes, this world is an illusion, it is a, a hologram, it is not as it appears, and yet it is a piece of art created by the creator, that which is projecting the hologram. And so it is no less, it is no less, uh, uh, real or divine than the projector, the creator of the hologram. Uh, it, is, it, it is certainly um, an insufficient or a, a, uh, a, you know, a glimpse of, of the divine. It is not the whole thing, it is not really the real thing, but it is still a part of, an expression of um, that which is beyond this world. And so to acknowledge this holographic reality as a part of the projector, the creator, not separate. It's not that it's not that this is all, you know, just a pile of garbage that the creator um, wants nothing to do with and you're just lost in this this maze of garbage and 
um, unreality is that this world, this reality, is a creation of that which exists beyond this world. And so this world is also um, divine. Every bit is divine, but it is not the whole picture, not the whole puzzle. And so to seek to balance those two concepts and say, okay, I'm, I'm in this divine playground that exists, that was created by the creator, that is an illusion, but uh, there is much to uh, learn from this, this realm, this world. And so here I am, and I'm going to be here as long as I am here, and not make the focus of my life trying to escape and get the hell out of here. Because here I am, in this body, as long as I'm in this body. And so might as well truly, fully be here now. But then, meanwhile, with your consciousness, you are simultaneously reaching for, uh, seeking out that, the, the real reality, the creator that exists beyond this world, and, and seeking to bring those two concepts uh, together, to meld them together within your mind, so that you are simultaneously kind of reaching for the stars with your feet planted firmly on the ground, and uh, in the process encompassing the fullness of of reality, not separating out this world and saying it's it's useless, it's an illusion, it doesn't matter, it doesn't, it isn't part of of, of God and the, and the real reality, um, and uh, not just saying oh this real this physical universe is all that exists, but merging those two concepts together, um, and in the course of of that realization and that understanding that I think you can really start to um, bring things together in a way that uh, results in true wholeness of, of all that truly is, rather than a dualistic um, approach of this is good, this is bad, this is, this is part of the real world, this isn't part of the real world, um, balancing those concepts in your mind and, and uh, um, seeking to uh, honor yourself and your body and this third dimensional realm as a divine um, world, but a temporary, illusory, um, impermanent world that will ultimately, uh, you know, reveal itself as the hologram that it is and just fizzle out and disappear in some manner or other. And then meanwhile, the, uh, the projector, the creator, will still and always remain as the um, you know, ultimate constant force of life and reality consciousness, the universe and everything. Uh, so there we go, the holographic universe. Feel free to share your thoughts uh, below as to what that really means to you. Take care. Aloha. Namaste.